What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have a new Icarus Week 31 update video for you guys. This week, they've added some free building options, different variations on building, and more. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 31 Community Feedback Number 1 Icarus Week 31 Update Community Feedback Number 1 This week we're celebrating some of the great suggestions our community have given us along with our new free build tool for our construction mechanics. You'll also find improvements to the entire building system with an addition to some new constructible variants and the return of some old ones. To cap it off, we've also made it easier for those who wish to mod Icarus to access core game data. So they added the free build tool. It's an option that gives you the ability to construct structures without having to follow the laws of snap placing. So basically you'll be able to place any structure wherever you want as long as it has structure integrity and has support. And they've also gave you an option to nudge pieces up and down with page up and page down as the default command. You could keep snap building, but the way you access free build is to hit home. This will unfocus the current grid that you are currently snapping to and lets you free build. So as you can see here, after you hit home, you'll be able to free build and place anything anywhere, really. As long as it has proper support. And it looks like this week we have some building improvements. They've added and reintroduced a bunch of constructible variants alongside with the free build option. Just to give you more variety as you take to your hammer and nails. The double doors and windows are now available in thatch, interior wood, glass, and concrete, and also aluminum, completing the set. They also increased the durability of reinforced glass, which now has the same endurance as stone building pieces. And they go on to say how they're trying to increase tier 4 usefulness and also how they're trying to just balance everything out as far as tier 4 and in game goes. So they're trying to add modding support and their modding support efforts as part of our commitment to make the game more accessible to community to run servers. Evens and mod, we reached out on our community subreddit for ideals to help support these efforts. One suggestion was start shipping PDB files with our bills. It gives a rough sort of blueprint about how we build the game and is useful to those making mods or cheats. Yeah, cheats. Normally these aren't shipped with commercial builds, but they will help a great deal with modding. Additionally, they provide more information to us to source crashes and bugs. Well, it looks like they're trying to make it a little bit easier for people to mod the game. So that way, I'm not personally cool with mods, but if you are, to each their own. Uh, they go on to say a little bit about how Stationeers team celebrates and how they've completely reworked Stationeers. I'm not going to go over that if you want. I'll put a link in the description down below and you can check that out. They're also telling us a little bit more about their work on the DLC and major future plans. As part of making our process fully transparent, you'll see a lot of early work being committed to the change logs that don't appear in the game properly yet. Important because it means that we spend less time making these posts and change logs. It means users have an idea of these change logs going in. And even though they aren't fully enabled, they may cause bugs. So there are several upsides of sharing a process with the community. And they go on to say how they're basically working on the new DLC and mounts. So, as noted previously, the major DLC will also be released with a free update to the game, striking a balance to not lock too much content behind a DLC and fracture the community. Additionally, we will be making the DLC as permissive as possible, so that if some don't have the DLC, it won't cause issue playing. They are working towards dedicated servers and decentralization and explain how they are still continuing to work on that. And they also go down through some of the community driven changes. Our community feedback system feature upvote hit a milestone this week of 10,000 contributions through tickets, comments, and upvotes. It's crazy to us that that many of you poured your time and love into this game and we're celebrating with a slew of bug fixes and changes as suggested by you guys. They did add the outpost drop zone selection. This was one of the upvotes. It changed how players return to outposts instead of always returning to your dropship. If you leave by the return to character select button, then rejoin, you'll return to the place you left off like normal prospects. But if you leave by dropship, you'll return by dropship and bring down whatever loadout you selected. They increased concrete durability. I don't know why this took so long. Concrete was weaker than stone, but now it's not. They increased concrete building pieces and their durability. Concrete is now 4,000 durability versus 2,500 for stone. So now, as far as durability goes, if you're trying to do like 
horde mode or something like that, you definitely want to build concrete. Uh, that is for sure. Concrete, 4,000 durability now. And also, this is the double window, as you can tell. And, of course, the double door frame as well. But concrete is now 4,000 durability. So that's awesome. So build you a little shack around your uh, your Emzine geysers, and it should help you quite a bit. Almost, almost double the durability of stone now. So that's awesome. They also fixed incorrect prospect difficulty and wood composters not making fertilizer. After 100,000 contributions, it's safe to say you guys have a big influence on what we do. Many of the most popular requests have already made it into the game, such as talent respects, in-game timers, Olympus as an outpost, and even carrying torches and picks at the same time. Keep it up, guys. And of course we got the change log. Change log. V1.2.6.98371. So we're going to go ahead and go over the change log real quick. Uh, see if we could dissect anything important out of it for you guys. Of course, they changed how you return to outposts instead of always returning by dropship. Add the free build mode. So the double doors and double windows are now added to thatch, interior wood, glass, concrete, and aluminum. They actually did add the ability for you to increase the height by going page up or page down. And what you have to do is you have to hit home first. And then you hit page up to bring your structures up, page down to bring them down to the ground. Of course, they have to have stability or structure, but you can actually probably make some pretty cool stuff like this. Say, for example, place this a little bit halfway like that, as long as it's in the ground, it's stable. And then maybe put something on top of it, or... I'd like to see how you actually use this to be creative. Uh, some will mention the glass working bench can now be connected to a water network. So crafting glass building pieces at the glass working bench, which is connected to a water system, will now produce reinforced glass, which increases the building tier by three, making it the same strength as stone building pieces for stability and weather damage. So they also added a hint text which displays on the glass making bench to let users know they can now craft reinforced glass buildings with an active water connection. Whoop de doo! What does it all mean? So once you got a water source connected to your glass bench, like so, and you make a, say for example, a glass wall. It says an active water connection will produce reinforced glass building pieces. And I wanted to show you guys this real quick. So that means that it actually has plus 400% maximum health and it's reinforced glass. So what does that mean? It should have the same wind resistance and durability as stone. So as you can see, we got kind of a maroon going on here, severe winds. And no damage is being taken by this reinforced glass. So yeah, maybe glass is an actual viable opportunity now or option. And of course, they added a few other little changes here and there uh, as far as the change log. I'll have the link to this update in the description down below if you want to check out. It is a little bit later today. I'm trying to get this update out as quick as possible just because it's currently my birthday. I turned 35 today. And guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to subscribe to the channel. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace!